Hi, Nathan here again with another Adobe Lifecycle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at uh, the right way and the wrong way to do text insertion into, into a form. Um, a lot of times you'll see forms where the, the, the designer is trying to keep with the design of forms um, in the early days of, of typewriters and computers where the, the person filling out the form on a handwritten form would have a blank underlined space where they would write in their answer. And a lot of that's, I see that uh, often carried over into digital forms, XML forms, uh, PDF forms, and it really isn't necessary. And I want to teach you a little JavaScript trick to, uh, to remove ugly white space outside of the form. And so in our sample here, if we preview it, we have some text and then a space for the user to input text and then some uh, follow-up text and as we, we choose uh, a sh let's say the user entered a short amount of text uh, a, a small street and dr address that leaves a lot of space that uh, is not being used and it, and it makes the form look like something out of the, the 1970s or 1960s and if they use the longer address then it's filled up to the edge but the designer of the form had to imagine how large the space needed to be and estimate what the largest entry might be and then leave that amount of space. And that's just not uh, necessary in Adobe Lifecycle. So down here at the bottom I have another sample of the right way to do things. I have a text field with all the information that I have above in the front and the back. And then in the middle I have this bracketed text address here and of course if a user wanted to type something in they could because it's a text field or if it's coming from a database or some other thing like a drop down if they enter the text um, such as any town Illinois then we do a simple JavaScript replace text um, function and that puts the text in the place where our bracketed information was and it maintains a nice crisp uh, typed out word processor look to our form. So let me show you how we did that. In this object uh, drop down there is a exit event. If we go to the script editor we can see that in that exit event there's a little bit of code and what the code does is it just declares a, va a variable called old text and it sets that value to the value bring this down a little bit it sets that variable value to the value of everything that's in there at the beginning and then the new text variable is the old text with a replacement function done on the statement address here with the value of the drop down box that we just exited from and then we take the raw value of the text box that has the original value and we paste in the new value and that becomes much like a replace text swap and so the finished result is no matter which one of these I choose I get the exact amount of spacing I want and even in this case when it's too long for the line it since I have my text box set to expand to fit and allow multiple lines um, I get a wrap around here for the last line and so that is found if we select this object and look at the field tab we allow multiple lines and then under the layout we under height expand to fit and so this creates a lot um, crisper, cleaner form where people don't have to um, write really tiny or run out of space like in the old days when you had to fill out a paper form but it makes it a, a digital form a form that can grow exponentially with whatever amount of text we want to put in there and of course there's many different ways to use this little tool to um, to make your forms better. Uh, this text right here can be used in a variety of ways. You could be getting 
data from a database and inser inserting it into a form. You could be getting data from a list uh, box. I'm doing a drop down list or even a date field where um, the, the exit value of the date field has this text, th this script in it, and so that date gets taken and put in the middle of a paragraph of a text field. Just a lot of different ways you can use this, and I found that it makes my forms look really good, and the people who use my forms are much appreciative of that because it gives the form a, a word processor, nice, typed out, clean, even spaced feel to it, and not an, uh, an old fill in, the, fill in the blanks underline type feel. So remember to be sure to check out the other lifecycle tutorials on YouTube or the website. The web address of course is truetechtroubleshooting.blogspot.com um, and remember that all IT problems are simple but they're never easy. We'll see you next time. Thanks.